Hello everyone, and welcome to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim, and today we will be reboxing Magnaroma because I took the basic deluxe box and then I made sure this fits in there and also this fits in there alongside the metal coins and anything else they gave uh, with the pledge. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then we will start to see what's actually in here. You can see my charger there, but whatever. Okay, there's a spoiler here. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so open the box. Uh, so as usual, I'm going to take everything out of the box and then put it back in. So you can see the unboxing and then the reboxing all together. So these are the monuments. This is from the expansion. And this is the uh, mini expansion, I guess, with the obelisk. And you can see I put the little explanation fits on top of it. Uh, you have the tile as well, but I put that in the box. So let's take these out for now. I have to say I'm not happy with this. Uh, I'm not going to keep this reboxing because, well, you'll see why. All right, I kept the special thanks because it's nice just to have it, right? And then we have all the rule books and everything, you know, the Dominus, the main rule book. We have the Emperor's box rule book. We have the uh, Dominus board. We have the tile board. And then we also have the solo board. And then we come to the mess. Yes, the mess. So, first of all, let's start with the easy parts. This, all your tiles go here. All your tiles except your player tiles. So all the red ones, okay. I'll just do it color wise. Also all the red ones and all the grayish regular ones and all the purple ones. And then I also put in the metal coins here because there's a huge gap here. I don't know why. Maybe you're supposed to put these there, but then even if you put them there, there's still a gap, so I fill it up with this. So here are the monument tiles. They, you have to push them in a little bit, but they all fit. I think that's where they're supposed to go. I'm pretty sure this is where the tiles are supposed to go. This kind of baffles me because it's really wide. Uh, maybe it is for if you sleeve them, but nothing else fits in here the way it is supposed to fit to feel natural. So these are all the, the locations, right? You can see the back of the cards, okay? The provinces. And I also put the barbarian cards in here uh, for the solo variation that came with the emperor box. So that goes in here. Here we have the goods that you use for the Portus expansion. And here go all the tiles for the Portus expansion. Once again, I have no idea what's supposed to go in here, um, but the Portus fits well enough. So I figured it's this. And then this bag is way too big for the re for the resources for the tokens, and that is a that is something that will come back a lot. These bags are super big. Uh, it's another reason why I most likely will throw this insert out, and just use um, containers, plastic containers, to put all this stuff in, because this is just. I'm sorry, it's a deluxe edition, but the insert is not. Yeah, you'll see it here as well. For example, I took all the color pieces of every every player and look at this. Look at how much space <laughs> you have left with these bags. <laughs> I mean, they're huge. So what this has is your city tile, your score uh, tile, and then basically everything. The only thing I took out are four cubes because these are four score cubes that are replaced. According to the manual, it like actually says five score uh, cubes are replaced which i believe because you can see this one here and this one there and so on but then when i read the rule book i have the impression you need to have an extra cube now i could be wrong uh, down the line but then even if i am you have a spare and i know most of you will not remove this from the game anyway but um and if you don't have the emperor's box which i think you should uh, then um, it doesn't matter anyway because you don't have the replacements. So this is a player one. Okay, so I put it here. This is a blue player, yellow player. Uh, and then we have the gray player and the black player. The gray and black players building starting cities, they look very similar. So make sure you put the correct one with each of them. Then here, I basically have everything else. 
<laughs> that sounds a bit silly. But I have these smaller tokens, I have the, the city kind of like tokens, and then the lightning tokens. They all have different names, I know, but you might not know them, so it might as well just describe what they look to you, it's easier. Um, so yeah, they, they all go in here, because there's just a, such a limited amount, and once again, it's just silly, right? And because they're so small, I don't want to put them in loose. Because if the box gets shaken or you go out and play with other people and the box is on its side or whatever and they get through the, the, the creases here, it would be so annoying. Alright, so that was there. Um, then here we have the population ones. Okay, there's a ton of them. Maybe originally they were supposed to go here, but even then there's so much space left it would be a waste. So these are a little bit more filled up, but even then still, you know still huge waste of space. Um, this is the uh, Barbarian expansion, you have the tiles, you have the, the tokens here, that's it, that's all there is in, in there, because the cards are beneath here, remember? So I put this separately for if I want to play the Barbarian expansion. Here are the two modules that came with the Emperor box, I think, the beautification module, and then the city planning cards. I put these together because you might not always play with them. If you do, I guess you can add them to a different bag, but I put them separately because they are optional after all. Um, and then here we have the scoring tiles. There's a bunch of them, right? I tried putting them here or here, but here they're too big. They don't really fit. And uh, here there's like a gap as well, so it doesn't really work out. Maybe they, you could put them here, I guess. even then it's really too tight. So I put them in a bag eventually because I have to. These are all the solo tiles for both from expansion and the base game. And once again, if you put them here next to each other, there's a gap here, so it doesn't really make sense. And then here the same thing. If you cover it up and you're not gonna play solo, but you wanna play Portis, it's annoying. So I just put them in a separate bag. Um, here, just all the boards. You know, they fit, they're there. Uh, no real need to go over it, but I'll show you anyway. The player boards, the Pantheon, and the military and market boards and the player aids. Um, initially, I was going to put a player aid in the bags with the colors, but then the bags take up too much space. So I refrained from that. So let me roll this up better. So it sticks, but once again, the bag is just too big, you know. It is 100% my plan to get rid of this, um, FYI, uh, I'll say it again, because it's just, it's just too big. Uh, it just takes up so much space. So, put this here, put this one here, this one next to it, and the card next to it. I mean, this is how I found that it kind of like fits. Uh, it might be slightly different from what I did the first time, but it doesn't really matter as long as it all matches up. You put it in the same uh, stuff, it should fit. Um, that's the most important thing. And the box has no lift, so no need to worry about lift. It's not there. So it still matches up and then you just put everything on top if you notice like for example this is one standing up of course it shouldn't be you just make sure that it lies down and it'll take up less space of course there you go it won't protrude as much as it was initially i thought about putting the buildings at the bottom of the box but then it's probably annoying to get out during the during gameplay so i just I'm just going to leave them on top. So just all the boards, all the rule books, you just put them on top as usual. And, uh, and that's basically it, you know. Put this on top. You can see, nice, no lift whatsoever. Up. So it all fits in the box, but like I said, the chances are humongously high <laughs> that I will remove the bottom insert because all those bags are gonna get on my nerves. And uh, these are the containers I normally use. Uh, and then it's much easier to take out. You give a container to someone to have their stuff. And uh, yeah, way easier than a bag, especially if it's so huge and then you have to roll everything up to get it back in the box. So what is in here, I'll just show you. 
This is the painted stuff from Mage Knight. If this is interesting to you, you can check the videos, the shorts that are on my channel. It has a bunch of uh, stuff that I painted, yeah, that are shorts. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. My name is Joachim, and this was Summer Games of the Time. Bye-bye.